what is up everyone this is Omega Belmont here with a look at a Gundam a Dynasty Warriors Gundam actually reborn uh, for the PS3 this game is only uh, digital in the US so unfortunately uh, if you're going out there to, <laughs> to buy a GameStop or uh, Best Buy or Target or something like that uh, they won't they, they won't have it so uh, that sucks because I remember this morning, I was like looking through, you know, games. I'm like, why, 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 why haven't did I see anything like that? You know, like, I didn't. I put down the, the name of the game, and all they did was pop out with uh, the other Dynasty Warriors Gundam game. So, uh, this one, as of course, is a Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of enemies on the field. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to pick from a bunch of Gundams and whatnot. I'm a big fan of Dynasty Warriors. You can tell. Uh, not like. Hardcore fan, but I like to buy them you know, maybe once in a while. Uh, I won't buy all of them all at the same time, uh, unless I see that it's it's an improvement from the you know the one that I played before. But uh, the, the, the the last Dynasty Warriors Gundam game I really played uh, heavily was actually the first one. Uh, I was in love with that game. You know, it's a combination of back during that time. I was a big Gundam fan too. Uh, you know combination of Dynasty Wars, which I love too, and Gundam, which, you know, always works. <laughs> Put two of my franchises together, and then it's, 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 a, it's a good game. Uh, but uh, this one is, like I said, I haven't played, uh, I played two a bit. I did have it. I sold it. I'm actually looking to buy another copy for that, just to have it, uh, all three of them. Uh, I had to rebuy one again, two, because I sold that one, and then three. I only played, I think, I don't think I even played three until uh, recently, which, which I bought it, so, uh, like I said, uh, I I can't remember much about them because, like I said, it's it's been a while. But uh, talking about you know Gun Dynasty Warriors Gundam uh, Reborn, uh, this is pretty much a Dynasty Warriors game. Like I said, you know you go out there, uh, square square triangle, <laughs> you know do you set up combos to do uh, you know and then to pretty much wipe out uh, different uh, you know groups of uh, enemies. Uh, the difference is the Gundam games are. Uh, you actually have to take over bases and stuff like that. Uh, you, not bases, but like uh, controlled area. So you have to go in control in area. Like uh, there has like reinforcements uh, area. You know, the only way to stop reinforcements is, is to capture that area. And then you just give you you're given different uh, little tasks to uh, to do. Uh, the maps are a little bit smaller than than the normal Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, if you've seen Dynasty Warriors 8, the maps are pretty big. Uh, I mean, running through them, it takes forever. Maybe because the Gundams in this one are a little faster. I mean, you can boost through a lot of a lot of enemies and, and uh, things like that. So uh, maybe it's because, you know, the maps are smaller. Maybe because the Gundams can boost themselves. So uh, anyways, like I said, combos, you, you know, with the square, square, triangle, or, you know, square, 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 triangle, whatever you want to do. Uh, you got your course X buttons to boost. Uh... That actually helps you kind of move around, uh, like I said, the field a little faster. You do have a energy bar that you drains as you go. So once it goes out to zero, uh, it goes out all the way to uh, empty. It actually overheats, and you, you have to give it a few seconds to to uh, let it uh, re re uh, you know what it, let, let, let let it succumb back. So uh, another way to use a boost is to actually. Uh, put it in combos. When you're hitting and doing a combo, uh, you can actually hit boost, and then it actually does like a quick dash attack. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, boost can you can avoid enemy attacks. I think, like I said, I haven't played this for a while, but I think that's a new thing they added into it, which makes the game so much faster. I mean, you're going around the map and you're just like zooming. You know, you're hitting square. You're doing combos and you're zooming left and right. You know, uh, dash attacking <laughs> other mobile suits and things like that. Uh, then you have, of course, your circle, which is your special move. Uh, R2 is to actually go into this, I forgot what it's called move, but your frenzy mo uh, mode, I guess. Uh, and then you're pretty much souped up. You know, you change into a different, not Gundam, but you pretty much, like I was playing Domo and Kashi, he goes into his, you know, gold state. Uh, it makes him makes yourself stronger and faster, and it's just like the Dynasty Warriors when you go into that frenzy mode, too. So, uh, like I said, it makes you stronger, faster, and... Uh, your special attack, uh, Musao attack, is if you, want, if you want to call it, uh, does more damage and uh, changes it quite a little bit. Uh, and also, if you have a partner, it summons a partner down too. So that's pretty much the 
the gameplay aspect of uh, Dynasty Warriors uh, Gundam Reborn. Uh, like I said, it's just Dynasty Warriors, so I can't really explain too much into it. You, if you're pretty sure if you haven't even played Dynasty Warriors, you've even heard about it. It's pretty much just square, 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 triangle, square, 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 triangle, square, 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 square you know, whatever. <laughs> so uh, there's really nothing much to it. Uh, it's pretty, pretty uh, plain there. But uh, there's small little things, you know, you can level up, uh, become stronger. It adds more to your you know, attack, your defense, and your missile, and you know, little things like that. Uh, the difference is in the Gundam games uh, compared to the Dynasty Warriors games. Dynasty Warriors games, you actually could... Uh, you know, equip different weapons. And this one, uh, at least from uh, what I saw, was uh, you can actually equip different, uh, like, uh, what do you call them? Just different, uh, like, uh, print, like, blueprints for your, your Gundam. Uh, like, uh, if you have the G Gundam, uh, Shining Gundam, or actually his Burning Gundam, uh, you can have different blueprints that help his, uh, you know, his strength and his uh, melee attacks. You can help his, uh, his shooting attacks, you know, you can help, help his uh, his defense. You can help him, you know, have faster movements and things things like that. Uh, the blueprints pretty much uh, makes up that, and you know, you, then you can combine different uh, blueprints to make them stronger, to add different effects into them and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And then you can also level up, uh, you know, your your melee attacks with uh, different components you get after a battle. Uh, you get you, you, when you win a battle or not, you get different components, and that is to uh, to make your your pretty much your gun stronger, uh, to give them a little boost. And then also you also have uh, like these skills that like special skills that uh, certain uh, pilots can only have, and and it's pretty cool. Again, you know, after a battle, you get these I think we'll called team points, and you can put them into those skills. And and the skills are pretty much just like in the Dynasty Warriors game, where it just makes your guys stronger. And, uh, like I said, better attack, uh, you know, better defense towards uh, ranged weapon, better defense, you know, just things like that that to just increase, you know, how powerful your uh, gun on this. And other than that, uh, I've seen uh, two game modes, at least from what I, I was able to get uh, to play a bit of. Uh, you have the normal storyline mode, which you go through different... Uh, Gundam universes and you play the storyline. Uh, the first one, of course, is always actually you could go and pick different uh, different storylines. You're not just uh, limited to you know you have to beat the storyline and then uh, you know it opens up. No, it, it actually has maybe it does that for like different Gundams, but you have at least like five or six uh, storylines that you can play through. So that was pretty cool. Of course, I started off with Amuro. I'm a big fan of the that's the first Gundam <laughs> and. Uh, that's pretty cool, and the weird thing is, uh, instead of using you know a retouched up of the, the anime during the cutscenes, uh, sometimes you see like the three D you know three D uh, CG animation for the Gundams, which makes it pretty cool. Kind of weird because uh, you're just so used to seeing the you know Gundam in uh, in an anime format and uh, you know drawn format, so it's kind of weird to see that. But uh, it is what it is. I, I'm not I'm a big fan of it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, either way they go with it, so I'm okay. With it. And then you also have the what's it called ultimate mode, which lets you play through pretty much the cross different universe, all the Gundam universes into one, and you play through uh, these these missions that they tell you. In the beginning, it's just like a little training mission you do. You do like t like three or four of those missions. And then it opens up into different types of missions. So it's pretty. It's called ultimate mode. And it, yeah, like I say, you can pick pretty much uh, whatever you know gun and pilot they give you in, this, in, in the beginning here. And then uh, then you can pretty much just play through and they give you like a, their, their own storyline and, and things like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then I had, I know there is a, a co-op mode. Uh, I never I haven't gone and played that yet. I know you could have friends come and help you and things like that. I'm usually a solo player for this, so <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll try it out and I'll do an update of that. But like I said, that is uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn for the PS3. Uh, there is one for the 360. I don't know if there's one for the Wii U, but uh, so far in the US, it's only uh, digital, so uh, you can have to go onto the uh, PlayStation Network store or the Xbox Live to uh, get the game. I think it's like 39 bucks. So it's pretty cheap. Plus, 
Uh, you have the DLC that's 29 bucks that gives you all these suits and stuff like that. So I don't know if you want to spend that, but uh, like I said, it's it's a perfect price game. I think it's 39.99 is it's it's a well priced game. I, I I was you know I was thinking of it. I'm like, oh maybe this is gonna be like a 59 dollar game. Uh, nope, I checked it. I'm like, oh it's 39. It makes sense, I guess, because it's digital. Um, I'm not sure if they have any English uh, dub for it. I have to check around, but I was looking through the sounds and uh, and the settings. I didn't see an English dub, uh, you know, you know, to, to change it to English dub. So uh, you get the Japanese voices. I'm just a big fan of the English one because I listen to them, I watch them, you know. <laughs> so I'm a big fan, and it's kind of weird hearing Domo Kashi because, of course, G Gundam is my favorite series, other than um, you know the original or uh, Gundam series. Uh, it's weird hearing Domo Kashi, you know, scream and such a high tone voice but <laughs> anyways that is it for uh dynasty warriors gundam uh reborn i should say uh it's it's an awesome game uh, if you're a big fan of dynasty warriors game the dynasty warriors game for me uh the the off shots games like dynasty warriors bleach and one piece and you pretty much hopefully the, the new uh hyrule warriors those games are usually pretty good uh if you're not a big fan of the dynasty warriors game those other uh other uh, Warriors games are really, really good. So, if you guys have any questions about Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn, uh, go ahead and hit those up on the comments and I'll try to answer them. And I'll see everybody next time.